Legend of Total War here with part 6 of my Medieval 2 Total War Let's Play campaign as England, playing as King Henry the first, I guess. Alright, so his uh, predecessor, his older brother Rufus, the Crusader, he died of old age um, last at the end of the previous episode, and uh, now Henry gets to have his go. Now, Rufus was a chivalrous crusader um, who... Uh, his his orders were to show mercy to his Christian brothers. But um, King Henry, he's, he's not chivalrous, but he's not that dreadful either. He's... Let's have a look at his stats. A dreaded father, he's sexually eccentric. So he's a, he's a fucking sexual beast. So he's not graceful with words. Fair enough. He's a good commander though. Respects the enemy. Okay. Foul mouth. Oh, that could lead to some good stuff if we expand upon that. Merciless Mauler. Poor disciplinarian. Top scouting. Okay, cool. I can make use of that. Scarred. Faction leader. Yep. Okay, so I'm just looking at the stuff here so I can get it, an idea of how I need to roleplay for him. Alright then, cool. Alright, well the first thing he's going to do is attack Hamburg here. He's been on the defense against the uh, the Danes for ages and it's about time we, get, we uh, fight back. Now, King Charles here, what's he got? It doesn't really matter. But it's time to kill him. Show no mercy! Kill them all! And there's a citadel in here as well. So that'll be very much worth taking. Forward, lads. Let's be at them before the dropsy carries them all off to hell! short speech, but um, it's always going to be a short speech unless they bring something of a, a reasonably sized army, which is very small in here. Okay, since we've got a, a massive numerical advantage, we need to make use of that. Don't just attack all at one spot. That's a good way to waste lives, especially considering what they've got. They've got some mailed knights. Wait, no, no. Uh, dismounted feudal knights. And we've got mostly, um, mostly peasants, pretty much, here. Because this is... Uh, Auto resolve stack. Then I did hire some knights, it's just, you know, they take a long time to recruit. Alright. Let's get started then, shall we? So, what do we got up here? Got crossbowmen. Okay, you go up in the wall, attack that. Dismounted feudal knights. Okay, we just need to stop those crossbowmen from shooting. Alright, now you're free to come over here and attack this. So, there's three tiers of defenses here. Screw it up here. What else is over here? Yeah, you, you do not want to be going up on the ladders to fight dismounted feudal knights. That's way to their advantage. I mean, you really want to try not to put, use your ladders up on the wall unless it's you've got no other choice because it puts your men at such an attacking disadvantage. Like, yeah, get some up on the wall, but they fight like shit. He's got, like, a higher tier unit. Can, uh, will lose against a lower tier unit when uh, assaulting the walls that way. Especially on very high difficulty. The ladders are now in place. Walls are no match for the valor and force of our arms. The battering ram is in place. It'll not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. So this crossbowman ripping through our town militia, but who cares about that? These are. Well, we really should be hiring better units now. Uh. 
This crossbowman will probably beat my town militia in melee. Then again, my, um, I thought I turned off event cutscenes, motherfucker. God damn it. The battering ram is in place. It'll not be long before our enemies. Because those event cutscenes are really annoying. Oh well. Must have, uh, must have made a mistake. Doesn't matter. So yeah, they're getting ripped to shreds here. Okay, now we're in through here. You need to get back on the on the ram and send the cavalry over here to cut off all their infantry. And these guys here are just designed to uh, keep them busy. Yeah, event cutscenes are so annoying. And it's great to have a you know a cinematic thing every now and again, but when you're trying to make tactical decisions. It, Three seconds or whatever it takes to, to have a look at that, which is totally unnecessary, is too long. So they're going to get wiped out, and when they do, we've got to make sure that they're they they can not get away. We're doing supposed to go through here. See these dismounted feudal knights here. That's what I'm aiming for. It's good that he's scarred, he'll, he'll last longer in combat. Less likely I'll get him killed in a fight. Which would be pretty silly if I got him killed on the first fight. Like, if he dies an hour into the video, no big deal, but if he dies before that, that'll suck. Because I don't want to have short episodes. No, 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 you gotta stop him. I'm trying to get away, don't let him. Okay, good. Good. Now the problem here, slow down, is where is he? Just need to make sure he's not right in the thick of it. Yeah, okay, he's good there. What the fuck are these guys doing? Tell them to come in here. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Obviously, cavalry would have performed a lot better out in the open field, but we need to just make do with what we've got. So pull through to break up their formations. This over here. Okay, we got enemy general coming in. Back up. You come over here. Fight. Okay, I really need to hurry up and finish these these guys off. Like right now. Now this Henry here is gonna get fucked in the ass. He's already hasn't taken any damage yet. Good ripping these feudal knots, dismount feudal knots up. But the problem is we don't have enough strength here to take out these generals' bodyguard. I just need to hold that until these guys show up. I just need to make sure that my king is not. Not too much in danger. Attack. They're all bloody 
attacking him. Doesn't matter about his bodyguard, he needs to survive. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? The gates... Sometimes the pathfinding is very stupid. These dismounted feudal knights pretty much fought to the death here. Dismounted feudal knights are pretty good at defending settlements. Hard to break. Okay, good. With these guys coming in here, there's no way the, the enemy general is going to do anything about it. It's going to be fucked. If you guys wouldn't mind, come through the damn gate to be a moron about this. I can tell you what, why don't you... Stop that. See, I've still got, still got a handful of them trying to go up the walls. I need to take down the ladder, I think. Don't care about merchant cavalry militia, they're crappy cav anyway. is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Yeah, we're not going to rout any units un unless this king dies. That's alright. Don't forget, we've got another reinforcing army, which hasn't shown up yet. Probably because I haven't put, um, haven't gone into the preference files and, and uh, turned unlimited men on the battlefield on. Which, I could have another two armies on the battlefield, I reckon, before we start seeing any performance issues. Where does crossbowmen go? Oh, they're trying to come through here. We'll just kill the general, and then we can send the cab to go finish him off. The enemy king lies dead, slain by our gallant warriors. Attack while his men mourn their loss. Where's the... Um, yeah, you need to go chasing after them. Stop him from getting back inside the... They're gonna get away. Someone's gonna have to go pick up the ram. Only half the enemy force remains. Oh, they won't capture them either because they haven't got a they haven't got a clear path to the town square. Very silly, but that's just Our the way it is. Are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. See if we can wrap these dismounted feudal knights. They're already shaken, but surely that one little bit of dread that he has should make a difference, especially if we can crash into their flanks. Because they killed all my other guys. Let's smash into the rear. Come on, solid charge. Let's do this. Oh. No. Didn't get there fast enough. Okay, yeah, my reinforcements have shown up, but... Important. Come on, pick up the fucking ram. Stupid peasant piece of shit. Why aren't you reforming faster? Come on, proper charge. 
There we go. That's what we needed. 97 of them routed. Very nice. Alright, good. Got the ram. Men are winning the battle. Look out the if gate. we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Don't let them get away, though. Morons. Yeah, the problem is, like I said, just don't have access to the town square. And so they just can't pathfind and can't figure out how to run them down. The battle is very much in our favour. It's if very we much a bug. And steadfast, victory will be ours. Which is never fixed. It's the same thing in Rome 1 as well. I just can't, can't run them down. If we had bashed down the gates here, then we could uh, run them down. What we can do is just stay close to them, and they won't be able to open the gates for them. And it's so frustrating to see this many feudal knights that you just can't kill. Our men are winning the battle. They're doing a better job of it. Our men have reached the gate with a battering ram. Now the problem here is that we bash down the gate and they get into the town square, so we've got to really get in close here. So that when that gate's oh god damn it. When that gate's down, they're gonna have three seconds head start. The battering ram has done its work. Now is the time for brave hearts and brave deeds. See now they're running down. The battle is very much in our well, it's not a big deal, but it's, it's just annoying, that's all. If there had been heaps of troops there, that would have been really annoying. By St. George, our men have taken control right, of the castle. Off. The battle is very much in our This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. We lost more men than King Charles, but he had better troops than us anyway, and a citadel. So, losing an extra hundred men, not such a big deal. Plus they lost their king. Such is the fate of all who oppose us. Victory! These people now kneel before us, my lord. The obvious choice here is to sack the settlement. He's not that dreadful that I think that we should exterminate them. Also, exterminating them would have done damage to the, to the town. That's unacceptable. Because we need this place so we can recruit from it. Good. With some dismounted feudal knights and some, just some regular feudal knights here. We'll, we'll take the fight up even further. Um, should I bother getting catapults? The main reason I don't bother getting artillery is because they just slow you down so much on the campaign map. My lord. I already got lots of Kev here. These guys would be good inside of a fort. Now, let me just have a look here. They don't like Denmark, but Denmark is not excommunicated. So who am I at war with? Uh, Turks, Denmark, Portugal. Alright, well I haven't heard a peep out of Portugal for ages. And we've got them under siege here. Robert's dealing yes. with that. Now where's, where's your son? Your son... Stephen. Is in London. If you're going to be the future king, you should, you should, um, come out here. And, uh... Fleet ready, sire. Become a fighter like your father. Your father has requested you join him on campaign. A fine day to sail. Doesn't need to bring any reinforcements. No further this day, sire. If it is the fight you wish, come closer. Okay, good spot for a fort to be right there. And considering this unit only costs us five upkeep, An order. I think that's a perfect opportunity, right there. Setting up fortifications for a defensive slot, sire. Now, my king. We should come up here and besiege Aarhus. Oh, hang on, there's a dry up possibility here. Alright, I don't know exactly what's there, but if we just send the cavalry, we should be okay. Sire. 
sure it'll be fine. Then again, the thing is, he's quite badly damaged in the fight. So I need a bit of intel. I need to know what we're up against here. Looks like for the most part it's just militia crap. Just thinking if I should send a few more units in. Alright, bring in just a handful of this trash. Actually, send in um, the levy spears. No, they'll slow us down. Just stay where you are. I can do it with what we've got here. An order. We shall slaughter them, my lord. The only unit that concerns me is uh, Lars here. And he really concerns me. Because we just don't have a lot of power here to punch through that. That's no problem. I tell you, what we need is a good old general killer. So if you just hold off there for a moment. My king. Have some mercenaries. They'll wish they'd never been born, that was sort of sad. Leave your mercy behind, men! We have come here to fight. We will only have victory if orders are obeyed. Aye, to the letter. There will be discipline and order in the ranks, I tell you. And if there is not, my horsewhip will be used with a liberal hand. The scrofulous Danes are hardly fit foes for true soldiers. But do not let pity weaken your resolve. Cut them down when the time comes, and I will bless you for it. Trust our foes to come ill prepared. Well, we shall take advantage of their lack of spears and use our horsemen to full advantage. You know me. I have slain many heretics, pagans, heathens, and malefactors for our mother church. I stand with you now as a man of war, your general, who would lead you to another victory in God's name. Let us go forth. And conquer! Alright then. It's better speech than the other one. Alright, so first up, we just need to go and crush that, that first army. The enemy have brought up more men. They hope to make up in numbers what they lack in gallantry. So, spear militia and town militia. Nothing particularly good there. I mean, we could shoot them a bit, but just... Just charging right into them should be sufficient. They'll probably break anyway. Can I smash that general. There we go. The enemy general lies dead. We've sent the base cur to the enemy army. Flees the field. Pursue and run them down. All right, let the hobblers deal with that. Enemy oh, and bad foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in this battle. Come on, every last one of them. All right, now we need to use our um, our crossbowmen to aim at their general. We'll be able to outrange their their archers, but not their artillery, obviously, not their ballistas. Now I don't really care if they get charged by the general, but like I said, if they can just get like a couple of shots on him and separate him from the rest of his men, that's the plan. And just stay well out of out of range. In 
fact, you should come out over here. Any units that run away, I want you to cut them off and capture them. So Norse archers here, they cannot outrange mercenary crossbowmen. Especially considering we're on higher ground than them, slightly. Dismounted Huskars are going to be a pain in the ass. Because they're uh, high morale units. Really don't need to be shooting the uh, the Huskars. I mean the uh, the Norse Archers. We should try and shoot the Huskars instead. Just because they, they are going to be much more of a problem I think. Doesn't matter if they fire back. Okay, almost within range. Alright, he's in range. Shoot the General's Bodyguard. Alright. Knights Hospitaller, I want you to um, go to God and just charge into them. What I want to do with this is basically lock them down, stop them from getting to our, our archers. Bit of a suicide charge, but that's okay. So now they're no longer advancing. And we're shooting the crap out of that general. That general dies, we immediately win. Because everything else will just run. Pray something changes in the course of battle, for defeat seems almost certain. Once again, the advisor being a complete fucking tool when everything is going according to plan. Alright, you're in next. Keep them locked down. This general's nearly dead. They've kind of made like a somewhat smart decision by staying near the ballista because we'll be a little less accurate against him. Like I say, just keep him in combat. Okay, the Knights Hospital are down, but they'll be the first to recover, because they're the first to take cash of these. Well, maybe the Mercenary Crossbowmen took a few, that's okay. Guys, he's got his back turned here, now's the perfect time to shoot. General lies dead. We've sent the base cur to hell. Now we charge. Okay, you can pull back now. You don't need to lock him in place. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. The enemy are badly bloody. They have lost half their men. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. No sweat. Everything went according to plan. I mean, we lost 15% of our troops. Make sure you capture every last one of them. Not a single Dane is going to get away today. 
not one. The enemy are utterly vanquished. This is a great victory worthy of only the... Considering that Henry has had to deal with the uh, with the constant waves of Danes attacking Antwerp and even having to retake Antwerp from them, he does have a certain disdain for them, and so he decided to execute them. <laughs> After all, they brought this war upon themselves. We did not invade. Well, we're invading now, but they brought it on themselves. Yes. Being a slightly dreadful man. Command me, sir. Well, within his uh, personality. Yes. Okay, we so. Slaughter them, my lord. My king. Orders. I need to take Order. these infantry out yes, of the sire. army. Yes, sire. Command me, sire. So that he can do this. They wish they'd never been born, sire. Victory! Nothing can stop us. Sire. Took a lot of pleasure in the sacking this settlement. Now, take the I've heard people. Go on about the pronunciation of Aarhus. I have no idea how it's supposed to be pronounced, whether it's Aarhus or Aarhus or Aarhus or whatever it is. I'm just going to call it Aarhus because that's how it's fucking spelled. The thing is, with something like that, if I could just hear someone say it correctly, I can then, I can replicate that. But I've never heard anyone say the name. All I can do is read it. And reading and hearing is two different, two different things. All right, sir. My lord, sire. Uh, let's see. Bring you. I need to stay right there. That way, if they desert, which they could, because he's got fairly low authority. Um, I should actually put My some lord. more troops away in sire. here. As you wish, sire. Because he's got yes. okay. He's got enough movement that he can come out and send them in there. Alright, good stuff. Well, he's not moving anywhere else this turn. We'll increase the taxes here. So let's see, we've got a Master Thieves Guild. We've got like two or three of those, so I don't need another one. Funny thing is, I bet there's going to be some people who are like, Why are you destroying that? Don't they provide law to all settlements? I'm just like, forward, uh, what's it called, face palm, that stainless steel. I can't tell you how many times people go and say something like, Hey, that building's got this stat, and they're like thinking of a, of a different game or a different mod. And it just, like, just get your facts straight first. Come on. Like, if you're unsure, that's fine. But you don't have to say something, you know, if you're unsure. Just shut your trap, you know? Like, I'm here commentating. I have to speculate all the time. Uh, you don't have to. And I'll often say, I'm not certain. Alright, anyway. Um, these, these, these troops should go and um, reinforce... Okay, we're not done with the Danes just yet. We're not at war with the Poles, but they'll probably attack us. Um, unless... Let me have a look. No, they're just at war with us. I'm, I don't think the Pole and Polish are going to go straight for there. Alright. Uh, I've got this under siege here. Eight turns until surrender. That's probably a good thing. Just starve them out for a while. And just, just generally keep them busy. And our allies over here in Spain. Is Spain fighting the Portuguese? Yes, they are. Very nice. Alright. Hail, my king! King Rufus' son, who technically should be the king. But, whatever. That's actually a really good spot there for a, um... For a, for a rebel to just king. sit there. So what I'll do... With honor, sire. Just build that there. Yes, my liege. This tower now, will keep vigil I hate lands. merchants, but if we were to get some merchants on this ivory, I really think it could be worth quite a lot of money. But I really just can't stress how much I fucking hate merchants. Hail it's just they're king. big time failures. Alright. Then back up north yes, with you. Gotta be careful because... King. Uh, King Henry does not have a lot of authority. Oh shit. Oh, double shit. I should have paid more attention to this. Um, I suppose that army is more expensive than this one. If you put them in forts, they don't 
They can't desert. Oh, right, they can't move any further out of movement. Hail my king. Orders. Well, if they desert, they desert. Can't do much about that. A lot of rebels out here, which I don't mind. As long as we put some watchtowers out here and let them sit there, that's probably the best thing for it. Because I've had people ask before, like, why don't I ever get rid of rebels? Um, I've played the game enough, long enough to know that I have I have tried to wipe out all rebels on the map before. You, it is impossible. You cannot do it. It seems to me that the faster you wipe them out, the faster they come back. So what I do, and I've explained this before, I keep watchtowers out in the middle of nowhere so those rebels just go and sit there where they can do the least amount of damage, out in the desert. So they're not blocking trade routes or anything like that. And then you just leave them there. And then it's very rare for new rebels to spawn because there's a, there's a threshold. See, like, over here, that's a bit of a problem. So what we'll need to do is, to make sure it's still in the same region, bring a watchtower over here, and it should lure him off from that. Let's send him out to go build watchtowers around the place. So yeah, we don't want to build watchtowers on roads, because that attracts... I mean, rebels, they attract to watchtowers, like, shit on fly... Flies on shit, I mean. Got ran the wrong way. Um, okay, Francis the Crusader over here. Who's whose son are you? Oh, you're his youngest son, are you? Okay. We've got a princess here, Avalyn. Where is she? Sire. Ah, fuck. I was just thinking, like, I could actually marry her to to her cousin, but the amount of time it will take to get there is, is gonna be it's gonna be a long time. She'll be an old woman by by that time. Of the crown. Is she any good anyway? She's not particularly good either. So best probably just send her off to the Venetians to go Am and to win over hearts or hands? Is there something I can do for see if we can No, I don't know. It seems we have reached this concludes our meeting, yes? And there we go, she gets a bit of uh, diplomatic ability for that. My I think she just needs to go and find someone to go marry. A lady needs her rest, sire. Come or on, leave, sire. it doesn't really matter either way. Sire. Okay, we're no longer at war with France. I mean, is it really to call them France anymore. It's more like the uh, the Duchy of Metz. Or whatever this region is. Fucking Cologne, maybe. Alright, I've got tons of money. Let's build some stuff. So yeah, with turns going on longer, I mean, it's 40 minutes into the episode and um, we haven't even gone through one end turn yet. Um, certain kings might have fucking 10 episodes dedicated to them. Some might have like 10 minutes, it just depends on what's going on. So Cairo's looking good, huge city and it's under control. Could always use a little bit more Catholicism to maintain public order. We've got the cash for it, Jerusalem's looking pretty good. Let's get a port in there because the public order's fine, let's get some more money. Yeah, no, go, go with that. I want the settlement to grow. But I don't want it to grow too fast because these settlements have public order issues, so maybe hold off on that. Yeah, I don't need Jeddah to grow any any uh, quickly. It's it's shit settlement. It's so far away from London. Best just get the public order and it's just a place where our enemies aren't. Let's face it, I am never going to build an army at Dongola, so I'm going to convert it to a town, but actually before I do that I should 
should probably fix up its um, religious stuff because that's a bit that's a bit low. Truth be told, we do not need to upgrade the mines here. It's not even making that much money anyway. What we need is let's see. Yeah, access to better troops at Hamburg. What about archers, though? I really haven't recruited a whole lot of archers. And England has the best archers in the game. Their archers are so good that they are actually capable of repelling the Mongols. I really don't need to have it on, on high tax rate. We've got public order under control. And we've got money. Okay, I don't think I need to recruit any more troops right now. Over here, we should probably make an attack on the um, on the Turks. Now we can't, of course, fight those battles manually, but let's just let's just see what we can do. All right, you can't leave here just yet. Hail my king! Okay, we should probably put a reasonable garrison in Caesarea because if it comes under attack, I'll have to auto resolve it. And uh, armored swordsmen and dismounted feudal knights perform particularly well in auto resolve. Armored swordsmen are actually cheaper than dismounted feudal knights and have better stats. Okay, everything seems to be under control there. Let's move on. Leaving the army, sire. Oh, did one of my armies desert? If it did, it happened in the Middle East, because I'm looking over here and I can't see anything. Because two authority is really low. Alright, betrothed to Avalon, Edward West is kind of old, so no. Fuck, I did not make much money over that intern. Oh, that's right, because I, I put in a few things in, in the queue, that's why. Good. I'm pretty sure I've got the... Uh, the advantage here with... Yeah, I've got heaps of, of cardinals now. But none of them are preferati. But still, I can decide who who uh, becomes pope. The current pope likes me, and he is of England as well. Okay, cool. So Jacob's of age. Hi, sire. Ships ready. Yes, the Lord. Engaging the enemy fleet. Okay, I can probably use a few more hawks actually. So if they can catch up whenever they're ready. An order. So Jacob came of age here, you'll also follow your father. That way if one son dies, we have another one. Ok, 
Okay, that guy wasn't attracted over to me just yet. Yes, my liege. Sometimes it takes Hail a few turns, and maybe they won't do it when there's yes, my liege. armies this nearby tower present. Will keep vigil over the lands. Yes, my liege. This tower will okay, I didn't see any desertion. I don't know where it was saying we'd leave the army. Sire. Command me, sire. It'll be a while before we can get another crusade. Ships ready. Alright, so what I want to do, put these guys on the ship. Oh, that's where it happened, over here. Um, and sail to Oslo. Yes, sir. Full sail. An order. I don't want to be taking garbage with me everywhere, though. Command. Alright, so uh, let's see. Leave these spear militia here. They'll maintain Final garrison. Command. Your will, sire. My lord. My sire. Okay, enough room for 16 more. Yes. Keen to conquer this side. Yes, sir. Ships ready. Alright, that looks okay. I mean, there's a lot of trash here that's lower numbers, but that's okay. Keep a large garrison there so that if anyone comes up here, Orders. we can repel them. I'll send these up to Aarhus. Yes, like, once again, I know people are going to give me shit about the pronunciation of it. I really don't give a fuck. If, you, if, you, if you're going to correct me on it, I don't give a fuck. Like, until I hear someone say it correctly, I'm not going to change the way I say it. Because I don't trust you fuckers. You guys are always leading me down the wrong way. Alright. Could leave this guy behind here, because only 26 cost. Is there anything in this that's dirt cheap as well? Hail my king, my lord. Orders. With honor, sire. Okay, just don't build Hail my oh, shit. Um, Hail my king. So that guy standing there is a bit of a problem. I mean, I could kill him. That's easy enough. Okay, I need to put a fort here. Yes, my leash. But that's so that the other army can sit in there. That way there's no As chance of them deserting. Alright, I guess we'll just move on to building stuff. It's like most regions don't need anything, but there's some out here that do. If we could reduce that corruption a bit more, that'd be really useful. Can't do that until it becomes a huge city. So, let's do that. Oh, hang on, I made some merchants, didn't I? So these guys can get... To be honest, at this stage in the game, like... That does not excite me when I see, oh look, 200 and something coins. Blech. Blech. That's all I have to say about that. Blech. I haven't tested in a long time, but does the merchant fort still work? Well, I'm not sending him back there to go and test it. Because I know it used to. A lot of people have said from my exploit guide that the merchant fort doesn't work anymore. But it's always possible that these people just were doing it wrong. Like they were putting it maybe on the on the wrong side of the of the. Uh, of the resource. It's always possible. Never underestimate the stupidity of people. Daughter of the crown. I take offense to that legend. Host Good. Hail, take offense to it. For morning now, sire. And get a cream for that butt hurt. Alright, let's move on. Oh wait, I still had some money left over, that doesn't matter. So gathering of diplomats around that rebel general. I suppose the good thing about getting merchants down at Dongola now is that now that we've taken out of, taken out Egypt, it's very unlikely that ah oh shit um, that another faction is going to send their merchant to go and get rid of ours. The enemy lay siege to our people, sire. I should have recruited some more troops at Tolu because. I can only order resolve that battle. I mean, even just a handful of extra probably would have prevented them from attacking.
Leaving the army, sire. That's a big fat no. St. John's headquarters. That sounds good. We'll grab that. Does that provide a global to any bonuses? I don't think it does, but let me just check. No, it's just public health. Okay. Mission failed. I wasn't even paying attention. But we are sending ships up that way. Alright, do I have a diplomat down here that I could... Um, Yala! My Sultan wishes you dead. Let's see, what have we got in here? Yeah, probably not going to win that. And all I've got is levy crap in the area. Thing is, if I fought it manually, I could win it. Venice and Portugal are allies. Well, that makes Venice my enemy by extension. Ah, oh, you prick. I guess that was always... doesn't really matter that much. I mean, it was garbage. But, um... I mean, I couldn't even... I, I don't know. Well, the only thing I probably could have done to def uh, prevent that was send them back in here. Most of that was all trash anyway. This is what happens when you've got a low authority king. It's a good thing I've made uh, precautions along the other way as well. Alright, I want you to kill this guy. As you will, my king, to battle. Fight. Ah. An honorable, glorious victory. All right, put them in a fort At there. I want you to come out over here and build a watchtower. Of defense. Hail, my king. Yes, my liege. This tower will keep vigil over the land. I might actually leave them in there and get him to go around and build some yes. watchtowers, because there's nowhere else I need him to go right we now. Shall continue tomorrow, What's going on with the Turks is not a big deal. I think they can catch up later. Ships ready. Fleet ready, sire. I sire. Ships ready. I sire. Alright, good. Ships ready. So it's never better to have one big fleet than lots of little ones. Any chance we could steal that fort? Yes, there is. The day is ours, sire. This is English, yes, sire. So yeah, but that's really annoying. But I can't do anything about it. May we meet on the battlefield. I need to do something about that. Where's that princess? Sire. Yes. Hail my king. You able to leave yet? Nope. Public orders is not good. Hail my king. Hail my king. Anyway, at the very least, at least I don't have to pay for those troops anymore, and it's not like that's not replaceable, and it's also not like they're in a position to, to harm me. They're not even standing on a road, although that's where a road would be if I had built it here, which I will build it, actually. I think we can afford to lower the taxes. We're making reasonable amounts of money. Okay, let's build. Uh, maybe I will actually increase taxes now that I think about it. Depending on where. Garrison there. Anyway, I don't like leaving huge garrisons in settlements. It's just a good way to waste money. Yeah, you'll prevent your enemies from attacking you, but at the same time, you'll bankrupt yourself. Okay, good. We don't need those races in there anymore. That'll save us 800 a turn.
and we're out of cash. Alright, good, let's move on to the next turn. I forgot about merchants. Well, they are highly forgettable. I just hope the, the moors don't make the attack this turn. If they can just hold out one more turn, that'd be great. Damn it. I could win that. Oh well. The king wasn't present, and so Tolu fell. We must resolve our differences. Or this is war. We will accept a ceasefire with them, but let me just see if I can get another region out of them. Let's get, try get Nicaea. Actually, I should try for one that's going to be a, a castle. It'll be a lot easier to maintain public order. I think, um, I think Trebizond is a castle. Oh, won't be able to get it. Um... I could, see, the thing is they're bankrupt, so they don't have any money. I don't know, just demand map information off them. Very well. There we is. welcome words of wisdom such as these. Masalama. My lord, we're besieged. Where? Oh yeah, that's, that's fine. It was, um, the Danes. Nah. Not suitable for our niece. St. John's Minor Chapter House in Antioch? Sure. Obtained a trade agreement with France. They're not going to accept that, though. Sire. What is it you would talk to us oh, maybe they will. But they're bankrupt. Well, map for map. Let's see if it works. And we got 100 fluids. Whoa, I can buy nothing with that. Command me, sire. Ship's ready. Yes. I'm a fine day to Okay, Oslo. Ashore, very sire. poorly defended. Command me, sire. We shall slaughter them, my lord. Besieged and it's a fortress. Cowards, my liege. Patiently awaiting to breach and butcher, sire. Okay. Now, as for you, what do I want you to do? I want you to raise an army. At Khan and um, at Ang Angers, Fleet ready, sire. and you're going to I take Tolu back, and at Bordeaux. I'll I'll start the recruiting for that. Since it's an order resolve stack, you want to try and limit the amount of cab you got because it's expensive and it doesn't perform well in order resolve. Oh fuck, what happened to you? Orders. Died peacefully during a siege. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, well, we've got uh, two captains on top of this, but unfortunately they could desert at any time because the king just does... Oh my god, he has no authority. So what's, what's wrong with him? Why does he have no authority? So if he's got no authority, that means no one's really going to... Uh, not only swears and curses regular, regularly, but does so with frightening force of conviction. Sounds like me. Plus two dread, minus four piety, minus one loyalty, it doesn't matter. It's good for the troops. Not good for authority, I really need that right now.
Daughter of the so, yeah, I want you to go and meet with the Byzantine Empire. And just have a chat with them. Hail, my king! With honor, sire. Yes, my liege. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. Hail, my king! Yes, my liege. Making camp here, no. There hasn't decided to go over to the fort. The Not that it would be blocking a whole lot of trade either, because it's a crappy trade route. Gotta get the public order here under control so that if I need to I can go and attack uh, Mosul over here, which is a citadel. But if the Turks are bankrupt with those kind of regions, that must mean their military is quite strong. Having a look at the Turks, who else are they at war with? Byzantine Empire and Venice. Well, I'm inclined to just let them have their way. The Middle East is of low concern for me. To me, If I can just hold on to the territory I've got, that's fine. What I want to be doing is expanding out here, taking out these, these assholes that declared war on me ages ago. It's time for their comeuppance. An order. Ships ready. Yes, now, sir. how's our standing with the Pope? Might as well give a few donations. Because we don't want to get excommunicated, although our guy is essentially an atheist right now. Um, because he's got what zero piety, I think. It seems we something just as useful. I uh, we don't want to get excommunicated because I can still make use of a crusade. I see another proper good Even as an atheist, we can we can make pleasure. use of uh, of religion to our benefit if we're king. We don't have to believe it in order to make use of it. All right, let's um, let's build. We gotta keep, keep uh, trying to get as much money out of England as possible. Okay, not making a whole lot. Need to take some more settlements. All right, let's move on. Oh, I forgot about them. It's the second time in a row I forgot about those. That's what I'm saying. I hate merchants. I just don't think about them. And even if I did have them both on there, I mean, 280. I mean, it's 500 a turn. And as they continue to get better, it'll be more. I should send a diplomat to that princess to try and get it, try and marry her to the prince. Provided she's not like a complete fucking troll. She better have some nice titties. Do they don't have traits like has got a big rack? Despite your honorless antics, we would speak with you this day. My honorless antics. I tell you what, I'll do that if you give me back Tolu. Hey, I'm fine with this. I see little my people need in your offer, Sadiq. Yeah, I'll accept that. It's fine. Saves me having to bother going down there and take it back off them. But they might not have been able to hold on to it anyway. Yep. And I don't think I've ever seen it be that much in the red. But that's fine. That's a really large Danish force. We may need to walk towards Stockholm. Probably quicker that way anyway. St. John's Minor Chapter House. Yes, that'd be good. 
take settlement of Zaragoza. Are we doing that? Oh no. What's the time frame on that? Fifteen turns. Yeah. Still just working on starving them out. Without the general there, that... I mean, we can still get this guy down here, I suppose, to do it. Okay, you're gonna have to stop that. How loyal are you? Well, you're loyal to your father, surely. Although you're not ever going to be king, unless all your brothers die. Alright, um, you may actually need to get rid of these these rebels here. You for the glory of France. As you command. Uh, you need some knights. Dance on their way back over here, but that's fine. It's time to take Oslo. Is that they their capital? Wish they'd never been born, no. sire. Patiently awaiting to breach and butcher, sire. Magdeburg is. I might turn Oslo into a city, I don't know, because I, I shouldn't need that as a castle right there. Alright, so, let's do this. Show no mercy! Kill them all! Now, although he says kill them all, he doesn't have a whole lot of dread, so I can override him in regard to that and sack the settlement instead of exterminate. Wilhelm the Conqueror had, like, heaps of dread, so it was a different story for him. This is probably going to be a pointless speech. Let's be about the killing, lads. There's knife work to be done today. He won't say anything more than that. All right, they've only got two units in there. Let me just reorganize this. Okay, let's get a ram here and a ram around the other side. Let's get some cav over here. And let's just do this. So, mercenary spearmen and... What's up this way? Dismounted feudal knights. Okay, we're not making the attack here because we've got that defended. So we'll go in right now. It'll not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. Using these guys may not be a very effective use of them because I could really use them for field battles. And brave deeds. And I I really do not need to be conservative at all with my crappy trashy spearmen. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. The battering ram is in place. It'll not be long before our enemies... But I want to cut them off from here because I don't want to have to bother sending another ram up this way. Bring the three generals in. Let them do some killing. The battering ram has done its work. Now is the time for brave hearts and brave deeds. Like I said, bring them over here. Don't let them get back to this this here. All oh, right, shit. Bring them in. Okay, they should do alright against dismounted feudal knights. The problem is they won't charge. Maybe they will. But I guess we'll see. Oh, they're going to charge. Excellent. It's a good charge. 40 from dead, straight away. Okay, 
let's pull them back so we can do this again. They've opened up the gate. Let's get in there. Actually, no, you charge in there now. Alright, solid charge. And... nope. Oh well. My lord! Our men are in command of the castle! Just keep trying to hit and run them. Okay, I don't have any generals right in the stick of this door. No, we're good. If we can hold that for two and a half minutes, we'll win that way. Damn it, there's one guy here who's not going to allow us to charge properly. In our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. I really don't want to push through mercenary spearmen and keep them fine. Doesn't matter if we lose a few bodyguards here and there. I just don't want to lose these feudal knights. Okay, back off a little bit. We'll see if we can pincer them. And then we'll come inside here and we'll get these guys to attack as well. Don't let them get inside there though. Yeah, because while they fight like that, these guys have the advantage. Same time, I don't want them activating this tower. Come on, they're shaking, you can break them. Only half the enemy force remains. Okay, make sure there's no generals in there getting killed. That's all bodyguards, that's good. Oh, we broke him. Excellent. If you just charge into their rear there, they should break. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won. Very nice. <laughs> victory! Victory! These people now kneel before us, my lord. How does the Pope feel about that? Didn't particularly like it. Starting to like the Pope a little, uh, the, the Danes a little bit more. Anyway, this Pope is old, so he'll die in a few years. How old is our king? He's 50 years old. Coming through here. These Danish ships will sink us if we're not uh, yeah, if we're not careful. Um, okay, take that just to annoy them. This is English soil now. Okay, if we can get some some troops in here, that's going to uh, help a little bit more with order resolve. That'll be good. Some more professional units. They dismount an English knights. Well, order resolve favors melee defense over melee attack, so we'll just. Ooh, human archers. Um, I want them, but only for. Oh, fuck, I'll just get it anyway. For, for manually resolve. They're no good in order resolve. Fleet ready, sire. So, how many enemies do we have now? Still just the three. Oh, when did we go to war with Venice? When did that happen? Must have been recent. I, I wasn't paying attention to it, it doesn't matter. Um, 
So yeah, this is a little bit of a concern. They might come here and attack Hamburg, which it's a citadel. It should it should hold. I mean, they might actually just bypass and go straight to Artus, whatever. Um, I'm going to go to Stockholm. So what do we need here? I am inclined to turn it into a city just because, like I said, um, we're not going to make use of this as a castle. I'm not going to be recruiting troops from here too often. There's plenty of castles on the map. If we convert it into a city, it'll make us a lot more cash. And that's what I need right now. I need cash. Okay, I'm going to drop the taxes down here at Dublin because I need it to grow. I'll just use this. Just have to build something quick and easy whilst we're, we're waiting for uh, some money to come through. It's not urgent that we make it into a, a citadel anyway. Okay, amount of cash. How much are we making per turn? 16,000. Not too bad. I mean, getting an extra 1,000 per turn coming in from Oslo. That's, that's what happened. They, uh, they blockaded our port here. Well, Stockholm should be worth quite a lot. Let's move on. Once again, I forgot to use the merchants. Okay, I gotta remember, the beginning of the next turn, use the merchants, because I... The, the problem is, is that I don't, I don't fucking like merchants. I hate them. And so I forget about them. They're a style of... of they're a part of this game that you just do not need to use. Like, the game is so easy for me that I just don't bother with merchants. It's a, wa it's a waste of time. The amount of money they make is just... Pff, it's just pennies, really, compared to Conquest. And, of course, there'll always be some people who go, I make lots of money off merchants, blah, 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 blah. Well, they're wrong. They're wrong. Because that might suit their total style of gameplay. It doesn't suit mine. There's no way they'll win that. I might even be able to sell you out there, because you know, I just hired some, some good units. The enemy Depends on what they've got. People, you know, if I had that other army, it could have made a big difference. The enemy has surrounded thing is, while they're making this attack here, the Pope isn't going to be too happy with them. They get excommunicated, maybe I'll call a crusade on them. That'll fuck them up. I kept forgetting as well to use diplomacy to get one of these princesses to marry the prince. The thing is, unfortunately for, for a role-playing campaign, it goes against my nature. I usually don't bother with diplomacy. Despicable treachery? Who, who got bribed? Why, why would you bribe a diplomat? Hire another one. It's like it's no big deal at all. No. Sure. Ex The Inquisition is charged with rooting out heresy wherever it dwells. Such holy work is not for the faint-hearted, for it seems only after sufficient persuasion is applied 
do the guilty confess their sins? <laughs> One, another reason to hate the Catholic Church, to be honest. All right, so. What have they got? Okay, most of garbage, let's see. The problem here, though, is that auto resolve is not always favorable. Okay, good. Um, King Henry sends them word to ransom them. It's not, it's not really worth executing them. I could use the money. Anyway, we should easily be able to rebuild that garrison. Just merge it rather than retrain it. It's a waste of time. Command me, sire. Next crusade's not for a little while yet. An order. You will have to fight us for chips ready. And the grapples and prepare to board. I just want to be careful when going down there. They've got more ships than we do. Set sail. Command me, sire. Move. I'm Nothing in Stockholm. They switched the capital. With the men are spent. Okay, now. Our prince, he hasn't got a, um... Yeah, he hasn't been married yet. He's 20 years old. Come on, get to it. Alright, where's a diplomat of mine? I know I have one around here. Lord, and there were some princesses around the place. Where are they? There's one up here. Actually, there's two up here. We got. Like oh, yuck. Stay away from that. That's no good either. Um, oh, yuck. Alright, what else you got? To be finding me beautiful is not uncommon. Eh, pretty crappy. Okay, the French one's not too bad. Actually, that's pretty good. Um, but I'd have to. It'd be quicker for me to actually recruit a diplomat down here. So, marrying the French, huh? I've got to try and keep an eye on her. My lord. Yes. Waiting for morning now, sire. Sire. All right. Head over to Constantinople. Shall I our people? A lady needs her rest, sire. Yes, you're not very good. You may end up dying a spinster. Okay, you got too many units over here. What are we going to do with this? Um, attacking the uh, the Turks is not a good idea. Just fucking disband them. I don't need them. So those are the free units I got from getting back off. Um, what's it called? And the Moors. Think about this is that I'd have to order resolve it. Still. Or we could send him out here to build a watchtower, which might lure him up that way. I don't like building watchtowers though that are in forest. Because then you go out there one day and you get ambushed by them. So maybe you can stand about here. Because if we can lure them, if we can lure them there, well, that's that's not really a good spot either. Because, well, still, it's just a, it's just a slight detour. If they have to go around them, could kill them. But like I said, otherwise it just spawns new ones. I mean, think of it this way: if you're up against a hydra, a, a creature that can spawn new heads, and you're unable to kill the body then you're best off tying all those heads and burying them under the sand. That's the next best thing if you can't kill it. Alright, I got money, let's spend it. Public order here is not great. Um, 
fucking heretics is what the problem is. Right, let's move on. Oh, they're attacking. Well, to think I was just about to marry your worthless princess to my glorious prince. The enemy lays siege to our people, sire. Still, if we can convince them to cease fire, maybe we can still do that. I won't have my prince, prince marrying some ugly German bitch. So he'll either marry a hot foreign babe or he'll marry a good English woman. This is going to get them excommunicated, they keep this up. If there were any lingering doubts as to the power of the church, they were dispelled once the people gazed upon God's greatest house on earth. Its towering presence here shall ensure Christian dominance throughout the land. Sure, whatever. Nope. Keeping the bloodline pure. Somewhat. Okay. Merchants. Yep. Sure. So that happened at Cairo. Well, that's good. Now, if I recruit a priest there, they should become a bishop. Unless that's just staying there still only. I can't remember how it works. Um, yes. You get rid of this stupid this bitch. Is the heathen in question, my lord? God's servant. Who is the? All right, good. Hey, oh, right. I keep forgetting. I can. Oh, I'll put you on the service. right. All right, you've been there the whole time. Well, that's At good. Your service. Right one over here. On my way. So yeah, it's it's making some money. Nothing, nothing, too major. So the Mongols are the strongest. That's to be expected. Command me, sire. Standing with the Pope is good. They wish they'd never been born, sire. So he went and hired a bit of garrison to prepare, but it's not going to be enough. Patiently awaiting to breach and butcher, sire. Do the Mongols have any territory yet? Let's have a look. No, they haven't they haven't settled anywhere yet. They're probably just beating down on the Russians. Which is fine by me. So this has still got two more turns to go, but they've they've really starved out quite a lot, so they should be able to handle that. I mean, I might be able to assault that just as it is, but from personal experience, I have seen attacks with, with order resolve against this kind of size force and uh, been repelled. Marriage to one of your subjects, I prefer death. Perhaps I can help establish a bond. Yes, my lord. Alright, so you need to get to tomorrow's journey to DT or whatever the fucking name is. Alright, so we're at an hour and a half here. How old is King Henry? Fifty one years old. I reckon I'd, I'd still get two more episodes out of him. Alright, we'll end the episode here. Alright, so situation is looking good. Um, King Henry has done pretty well in his fight against the Danes. 
Yeah, that's about it. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. So like and subscribe. Part 7 is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time. Fuckers.